Okay, people, so apparently there's been some controversy surrounding one of the latest Naruto stories. I believe it's from Naruto Retsuden, one of the Naruto novels, and, you know, these novels have been pretty controversial. A lot of people have been going crazy over them. There's one that, um, I want to say is a Naruto Retsuden or Sasuke Retsuden, where, like, seemingly Naruto is dying from a disease. There, there's been all sorts of stuff going on in these novels, but in this one in particular, a lot of the fandom are screaming because apparently it seems as though Sasuke is somewhat scared of Hinata and people are actually bugging out um honestly to me it's just interesting to see the two of them interacting in general like I probably can't even count on on one hand uh, a full one hand of interactions that the two of them has had throughout the series like I think what in the Boruto movie he knocked on the door and she said oh Sasuke how's it going you scumbag you're here to break Naruto's heart some more like they haven't had much interaction so this was actually really interesting and at the same time I'm kind of a little bit confused at why people are freaking the hell out, but yeah, let's talk about it. Say we can do what we do, no matter how you move, make your move. That's how it be though. Now this is actually pretty, pretty long of an excerpt, so I'm going to read it as quick as possible so we can get to the juicy bits and you guys can understand all the context behind it as to why people are freaking out over this. Let's read. By the way, this is all courtesy of Organic Dinosaur from Twitter. Yeah. Uh, shout out to her because she'd be translating some very interesting Naruto bits. An excerpt from Naruto Retsuden Chapter 4 with Chihara's, which I'm imagining that's a character um, from the novel exclusive to it. Observation data complete. Sakura and Shikamaru validated it and gave it their stamp of approval. It seemed almost certain that it was a satellite that was launched by the Rakuto Senen. That sounds a little ridiculous. I'm not even going to lie. Like, Rakuto Senen, the Sage of Six Paths sending a satellite. Like, what the fuck? Is, what, what is this? What's going on here? Is this Batman? And beyond like yo more and more their strategies were being finalized each one of them had to begin making their arrangements as soon as possible nevertheless it would be suspicious if a lineup like them were to be seen mobilizing all at once everyone who was present left the store one by one at spaced intervals Naruto headed off towards the Hokage office in order to finish up and front load some of his regular work that would have needed to be prepared for tomorrow night. Shikamaru headed off to arrange some other work. Kakashi headed off to his scout partner, probably uh, going to tap some booty. Sakura and Shihare headed off together to practice driving the motorcycle. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Satellites and motorcycles? Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about that. That kind of sounds a little ridiculous. Like, I know there's technology in Naruto now, but they've advanced that much to satellites and motorcycles? Like, nani? And then there was Sasuke. Since he didn't have anything in particular to do, he decided to preserve his stamina because we all know in the Boruto anime, Sasuke has no stamina and no chakra whatsoever. He's still searching for it in the past. <laughs> and promptly returned home. Sasuke-kun! As he pulled on the side gate of the rear entrance to exit into the back alley, a voice called out him. It was Hinata. This wasn't the kind of place where someone would happen to pass by incidentally. If someone didn't know about Sasuke and the others assembling in a hidden room of the Tommy confectionery shop, they wouldn't have been able to ambush Sasuke there. What are you doing here? Thank you for the various things that you've been doing for Naruto-kun's sake. I'm imagining that's Hinata saying that. Had she noticed, Sasuke concealed his trembling, whoa, what the fuck, and maintained a lack of expression on his face as he stared back at Hinata's face. Naruto's condition should have been kept a secret from the members of his family because remember, he's dying in this one. Okay, this is that, that novel. She suspected it all along, yet took Naruto's feelings into consideration and didn't say a thing. Assuming that was the case, she was truly a good wife. She is a good wife, yo, everybody should strive to get you a Hinata. There's no reason for you to thank me. I'm just doing whatever I want to do. As he candidly spoke, Sasuke walked past Hinata's side. Hinata then turns toward Sasuke and tossed something at him. Here, take this. He realized what it was when he caught it. It was a forehead protector with the mark of Konoha on it. It would be better if you had something to protect your forehead with. Sasuke somehow had a strange feeling about things and then stared back at Hinata's face. In the past, it was difficult for him to deal with her. She was always timid. Despite being a hardworking person, she didn't have any self-confidence. Doing things like only peeking at other people, she gave off the impression that she really didn't have any of her own opinions. He got irritated whenever she came into his field of vision. But during the time when Sasuke had left the village, Hinata had changed. 
She had a strong will and a mental toughness at heart that had been imprisoned within her reserved temperament on the inside. She had then come to the point where she was properly expressing it on the outside. With the strength that she had hidden inside of herself, she would occasionally watch over Naruto. From time to time, she supported Naruto. And just like that, as she was becoming aware of herself, and before she even knew it, she was getting married to Naruto. Sasuke says, I'm not exactly one of Konoha's shinobi, so I don't have a reason to wear this. Return it back soon, okay? Hinata says. Hinata interrupted Sasuke as he was trying to return the forehead protector. She then turned towards him with a cold gaze and said, Because if you let my husband become burdened with even your life, I won't forgive you. As suspected, it was difficult for him to deal with her. That sounds like a threat to me, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I know you could argue... Yeah, like there's the argument that you could have that, um, you know, she, she doesn't want anything to happen to Sasuke because that will pain Naruto more. But at the same time, like him trembling and the way it is, like, I, I love those interactions, to be honest with you. I always thought Sasuke and Hinata didn't interact enough in the series, especially considering the fact that Hinata eventually became Naruto's wife. And yeah, that that's a, a thing, you know, and they're like best friends, right? Naruto and Sasuke. So I, I feel as though that there should have been more interaction. So seeing at the very least in the novel, they're having these situations. Um, yeah, that, that's a, a good thing because they should have more interactions. They're friends. Yeah. But yeah, um, I, I don't know. I, I, the outrage of people saying like Sasuke was scared of Hinata. Like, yeah, I could see like him trembling and him not really wanting to deal with her per se. But uh, it, it was interesting to hear Hinata in a way I felt as though it kind of came across as like threatening him. Like, yo, you let uh, my, my husband be burdened by your bullshit again. It ain't going to be a Naruto versus Sasuke. It's going to be me on your ass whipping it boy <laughs> so overall uh th this is um interesting i mean I, I don't know why the fandom is like saying this is controversial or uh, you know outraged or all of that jazz of what the fandom is saying i mean yeah it's a cool interaction yeah sasuke does seem a little taken back because uh, you got to look at it from this perspective right they're kind of both and they've always both been introverts in a sense like sasuke doesn't really come out of his mouth to talk unless he's spoken to he doesn't jump out the window he's not a quirky person like you know you even go back to the very beginning of the series naruto sasuke and sakura sakura is the one always making excuses and being annoying naruto's always pulling pranks and being a dumbass and then there's sasuke just quiet hinata same way, quiet as hell, never spoke, never nothing. So adding the two quiet people together and having them have interactions is interesting. Now, you got to look at it from this perspective that, yeah, in the beginning of the series, they were both very, very introverted and Hinata was always really, really scared and all that shit. This character development now, Hinata, that's her husband now. They've been together for years. They have children together. And also Sasuke is no longer brooding over, I got to kill my brother or I want to destroy the leaf or anything like that. So it, it was an interesting encounter per se. I don't know if I'd exactly call it controversial. Like it just seemed like, yeah, a wife threatening some dude. Like don't let my husband be fucked around with. Like I, I don't want nothing happening to him. And it's also interesting to note because we haven't talked about these novels in a while that Hinata actually actually knew that Naruto was dying all along. I really hope they adapt this into uh, the anime at some point, especially with all this time, like, um, and if they want to, you know, space things out with Kara, this shit sounds good. I want to see this animated. You need filler instead of giving us some bullshit anime original with the writers from Studio Perry out there pull the pencils out of their butt cheeks. Like, yeah, how about we get some of this? So once again, curious what you guys think. Do you feel as though Sasuke was threatened by Hinata? The, did it sound like he was scared, per se, based on the dialogue? or do you think that he's just like you know he doesn't know how to interact with her because again they're both introverted like yeah they changed a bit Hinata's grown a bit she she's more vocal now but Sasuke's still kind of like that quiet dude like yeah he's always the quiet dude so being with another quiet person and then that quiet person coming out to him and saying I'll fuck you up boy like yeah I guess it's more awkward if I in my opinion and your overall thoughts of all this again this is I want to say Naruto Retsuda in the novel where Naruto is dying from a disease and Sasuke Sakura and Kakashi are going on a quest to find out um or find a cure for that matter also what are your thoughts on the whole uh motorcycle satellite shit like that just kind of blew my mind like what again i know there's a city i know that they've had technological advancements but 
motorcycles like <laughs> i don't want to see naruto on a motorcycle going that they my oh motherfucker like no but that's all i have for this one thanks for watching hope you enjoyed if you liked anything i had to say or enjoyed the video drop me a like i'd greatly appreciate it and if you want more from me make sure to subscribe follow me on twitter instagram hit that bell to get all notifications and if you want to follow any of my other social media links are in the description below i'm from the world and as always people have an awesome day and remember the golden rule anime and manga for life boy have an awesome day peace in Just one more reason to try